A series system consists of n components, each with a mutually independent exponential lifetime. Find the distribution of the system lifetime. Well, here is the block diagram of a generic n component system where the components are arranged in series. And each one of these components has an exponential lambda lifetime. And those exponential lifetimes are mutually independent. And we want the system lifetime. In other words, because this is a series system, we want the distribution of the time that the first component fails. So in this particular setting, the population distribution has probability density function f of x equals lambda, and that's the failure rate, e to the minus lambda x for x greater than 0. So that comes from back in chapter 5. And we are interested in the first component to fail. So that is the first order statistic, fx1 of x1 will give its distribution. Now from the previous slide, this will be n times 1 minus the CDF evaluated at the first order statistic, x1, that raised to the n minus 1 power times f of x1. So at this point, it's simply plugging in all the pieces. So here is n. If you look up the cumulative distribution function of the exponential distribution from chapter 5, this term turns out to be simply e to the minus lambda x sub 1. And that will be raised to the n minus 1 power. And here the density function for the exponential population is just lambda e to the minus lambda times x sub 1. Now you can do a little bit of simplification here. Notice that there is an n and a lambda, so that's a constant value. n times lambda. And then we have e to the minus lambda x1 to the n minus power multiplied by e to the minus lambda x1. So this becomes, when you add all those pieces up, e to the n lambda times x1. And this is for x1 on the support, which is x1 greater than 0. Now, if you look at this distribution for a while, it looks a little bit like this one. But everywhere there is a lambda, instead down here there is an n lambda. And so you can conclude from that that the first order statistic is exponential and it has a rate parameter which is n lambda. This is a well-known result um, to reliability engineers and that is when you have a series system of exponential components and you want to know the distribution of the system lifetime, it is also exponential and its failure rate is the sum of the failure rates of the individual components and this result right here is a special case of that particular result. Now on the next page this is done in Apple and there are two solutions. One is to set x to an exponential random variable with parameter lambda and use a procedure known as minimum IID to get Y and that will be the exponential N lambda. The other solution starts the same. X gets set to an exponential random variable with parameter lambda. Then what you do is you say this is the N out of a sample of size N drawn from that exponential population what is the distribution of the first order statistic and that will give you that very same result.